Hi, Jeremy Young here, CEO of Atomus Limited, and I'm here to show you some pretty big revolutions in the game of multi-camera synchronized recording. The Shogun is you know, a sub $1,500 product that allows you now to do four camera records and a program stream, which is called switching, and we'll take you through exactly what those things are. So normally, Atomus products accept one recording at a time. And more recently, we've added more connections to accept lots of bandwidth from cameras. What that allowed us to do was have separate connections on our shows and unit. And those separate connections, we have four of them, can be used for separate camera feeds. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use those camera feeds in a live scenario to switch between the camera angles to make a really nice story. So we're gonna show you how we've created a mini studio that you can take away, it's battery powered, it records up to 1080p60, so you need four 1080p60 feeds. They come in as SDI, you can convert HDMI cameras to SDI if you like to bring in, and we can take four feeds. Now, how to set up those four feeds, I'm gonna show you now. They can be HDR production. What we're doing today is a C-Log1, because we've got a C100 here, we're using all Canon cameras, and we wanna do an HDR switch production that we can then turn into SDR later for delivery, but we wanna capture the brightness range. And Atomos has been working very hard to make sure that that is nice and automated for you, and that you can do that into the future very, very easily. So let me take you through the updates to the show. So you can see I've got one, two, three, four feeds coming in. Three of them are cameras that I can see here, and one of them is a playback from, you could, could be a computer, it could be a separate camera file that you've put a PowerPoint presentation on or a keynote on, and you're playing it back. So what we're, gonna, what we're doing here is we're playing back a keynote. So if you have a look at how we've set up this shot, we've got a front-on shot. Now on the Shogun, how do we get in there? So you'll notice some new buttons. When you update the firmware, to the Shogun, you will be asked at that point, do you want to go into single record mode or multi-channel record mode? Multi-channel says switching, so go into switching mode, and that means you can have four channels of recording up to 1080p60 each. Plus, while you're shooting and you're going between the camera angles, cut, hard cuts and dissolves, you will then also be able to record at the same time a fifth stream. Now that's super important. You can record the fifth stream and you can output it for streaming live, which is why a live production is really cool. So we're recording all of our ISOs. We can change it later in an edit scenario and we've got XML from Final Cut in here that allows you to take what you've done here and adjust it after really quickly, or you can just take the live switch. You can see I've got my Sumo 19 out here where I am outputting the switched feed. So if I go between switches, you can see this Sumo changes. So now I've got all, I'm practicing, got all my camera angles. The last thing I want to show you is how the actual ISOs are set up. So let's say I'm doing an HDR production and I want to make sure that all my ISOs are, are recording plus my program's recording. Inside settings, there is a switcher panel now. And that switcher panel allows you, if it's red, it will record. If it's not red, it won't record. You can't adjust them after in, so you can turn them off. All of them, nothing recording, on, all recording. So what, what we're doing here is we're making sure that we've got which ones we're actually gonna record. And which ones are we gonna record? We're gonna record all of them. So we're all set up. What am I doing on my analog recording? I'm recording all the analog. It's following, it is a mixed down record of analog audio. And then you can choose to either come from digital source, follow the switched source, so each camera could have its feed, like, I'm gonna head over to you, Bob, and camera four, and then it goes to Bob's mic. And, or you can then choose which channel you are only recording. So all of this is in the switcher setup page, very easy to understand, and you should be able to get a very good um, level of understanding of what your type of production you're doing. Down here, I've got my switching style. Do I want to be one cut hard touch? I'm gonna actually do a hard cut. Here. We can do a queuing system, and I'll show you that. If I just change this to two touch queuing, what that means is, so this is the one I'm on. I'm gonna start on you know, my title, and I'll explain how I use that. So now I'm gonna hit record on my four feet. So now I'm recording. I wanna to go to this angle next. You can see it's green. This one's still recording. That's queuing the next one. Once I tap once, I'm ready to go, and then I can now go, okay, I'm queuing over to number two. 
And then what will happen is my, I will then cruise to the next one knowing that they're gonna change. And I can see if they do something on the fly that I can adjust the camera and know which camera is there. But I'm recording those changes. If I wanna go into the original, so I'm gonna hit stop there. If I wanna go into the original fire, uh, the single setups here, then I just go into each monitor. Monitor one, monitor two. And you can see I've got my waveform there. Monitor three and monitor four. All right, so my waveforms are looking pretty good for HDR. The range is nice. Um, but on this one, I'm pushing on the log range. I'm, I'm overexposed, so that's not gonna come out very well. So I'm gonna ask my cameraman over on camera number two, could you please stop that down a little bit? So as that comes down, keep going, keep going. Okay, I'm happy with that. So if I go back to all my four, I'm probably a little bit underdone, maybe a little bit up again there. Perfect, okay. Now I've matched all my HDR productions here. Just to also show, you've got an overlay button here that allows you to remove all the overlays, which I probably will do now, but I'll keep my um, indicators down the bottom. All right, so I've got four inputs. I'm recording one channel, five streams of recording onto one disc. That is the disc here inside. At the same time, we can add an XML that goes directly into Final Cut, or you can just have the program stream. We are recording all five streams here, and every touch that we make in terms of cuts and transitions and switching, will be replicated in Final Cut in XML. So you can literally open up the project in XML, all of your cuts are there, but all your ISOs, isolated recordings, as well as they're called ISOs, the single recordings are there for you to adjust and change, add things in and move around, which is really, really cool. So let's go through and show you a production. All right, ladies, so we're about to get going. Three, two, one, go. And so you can see here that I've been switching between as, as we're going, just to get the right camera angle. And so I'm just keeping the flow of the exercise going. You can see here that I've got a program feed that is being recorded. You can see that big red button. These red, the outside red shows you which channel. ISO 2 means if the individual recorder is being recorded and the program says, I'm now on this channel right now. And when I want it to swap, I swap over here. So these are some of the indicators you should be very aware of. And at the same time, when I turn my overlay, I can see that I've got 30 minutes left of being able to do this type of production and I'm battery powered. Remember, I can do this anywhere. The last thing I want to show you, the XML dissolve, the manual dissolve. I'm going to cue to this one next. And you can see this dissolve comes up. Now, I can choose to either do a one second of a dissolve, two second dissolve consistently, which a lot of people like to do, or I can transition at my own speed on a slider on the screen, and that's what we're calling the touch transition. You can also then go in and play these back. You can come in and do things like favorites. So I might say that's a really good shot and show that I've got those favorites. Those favorites can be used in Final Cut as well. So not only do you have the switching and the transitions that you did live, you also have review ability after, which will make life easier. Check out Adamus.com for all the details. Shipping now, Shogun 7 switching firmware.